Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point Terror from the Void. Uh, we have a, a partial team heading across to try and save an Anu Haven. Uh, we've been ambushed uh, at the end of, well, uh, in, in the last episode. We've got trading going on. Uh, we're trying to uh, get the whole team together and it's going to be 13 hours until the Far M module is completely finished and then we can actually separate our teams into two teams and uh, yeah hopefully respond to different threats at different points in the world let's let's push on okay we are doing trading over here uh, yeah it's gonna it's gonna be tech for materials we don't have much tech but we do need to keep the trading engine going and actually coming down for more tech over here seems like a very smart move. I don't think there's going to be any any closer. So let's do that. It's going to be a while before the Just Eat makes it across. Um, that's unfortunate. Actually, while I think about it, the Archaeology Lab is going to be done soon. We've already got an archaeology lab, so we could start manufacturing some probes and looking for antediluvian sites. Let's get one. Let's get one queued up and uh, at least at least we can be starting to make some headway on it. All right, food for tech, that's getting things a little bit better. Uh, I think we're going to have to do materials for food here and then swing around for other tech elsewhere. In the meantime, as I said, we have a haven under attack. We're going to get some rewards, which is uh, nice. That's actually going to give us enough to start building a cybernetics lab if we wanted to. Uh, it's a team of seven because that's all the people we have on this particular ship group. Let's send them in. This is... It's just gonna be it's gonna be fine. It's just a little bit tired. And despite the fact that the far end module is giving us um more stamina over time, we should probably send people to rest and recuperate. Okay, let's uh let's have a look at what we've got tactically. Uh, it started a slap bang in the middle of everything, which is normally a terrible place to be. Uh, we have one Arthron already available for a spot of murder. He is unfortunately out of range. But we can shoot him. So let's have a look. Do you have return fire? He does have return fire. Half perception range. Perception range is 12. So that circle there, that is how close we would need to be in order to trigger the return fire. We can step in to like here and get two shots. Here and get three shots with the PDW. Moving to coordinates. Let's start it off. Lining up a shot. If we hit the head, I've we could do this. a decent bit of damage. If we don't hit the head, then we don't do a decent bit of damage. 90 damage is, is reasonable, I'd say. See if we can get Liz in with a shotgun. Try to give the uh, the newbies some uh, some opportunity to do do something. Uh, I think we might have to finish it off with Elif. One more. Oh, right between the legs. Finger on the trigger. Okay. That's that problem solved. 
With one immediate threat gone, uh, I'm now looking at the civilians and thinking we should try and evac them. Where are the evac points? Ah, actually, there's, there's reinforcements that we can grab over there. Okay, our fastest person then, which might be Jamila, is going to start making motion towards... That's going to be gear. Let's get that priest. Um, we'll get the Berserker okay. next turn. Because we can use the priest. Ah, oh, to get Frenzy! Yes! Definitely want that. So, the Frenzy is in range for most people. We'll act... Oh, you're just out this turn. Receiving. Bethany, Receiving. Come, come one tiny space further. Okay, so this is going to give us the benefit of increasing their speed by 33% and making them immune to panic. It's a huge, huge benefit when you're trying to get people moving around. <laughs> I was born ready. So, Bethany can actually make it up here to the civilians, or round to this civilian here. There's, there's lots of options. I wonder where the remaining Pandorans are going to be. There might be someone, like, down here. There might be someone in the mist over this side. So, yeah, if we're going to get the civilians out, it's... It's going to have to be... There is no evac point. Alright, so we're we're literally just keeping the civilians alive. That's, that's all we... Oh no, there is. Just there on the left. Jeez, I'm clearly not paying attention properly. Right, this civilian can just go. So, out you go. Uh, don't evac straight away. You know what, do evac straight away. Uh, Frost. You can come in and grab both of these. And I'm going to get them starting to make their way out. We are a little bit exposed in that central area so I'm Ready. I'm half tempted to have the civilians stand out and be a better target is what I'm thinking yeah stand up here and be tempting no stand here that's a fine position for you to be in, because this guy's got a spit ahead. He's going to have to get closer to spit at you anyway. Ready to roll. Uh, Jamila, you can get yourself up on top. And then we can overwatch down for this guy. Which I don't think is really going to do quite what I want, but... This might, actually. Let's make it a nice wide overwatch. Try it like that. On the lookout. Okay, so we've got one civilian who is bait. We have other civilians who are running towards the exit. This is fine. This is totally fine. And Bethany... I'll start bringing you back, actually. Ooh, Myrmidons. Okay. We can... We can definitely deal with this guy. The Berserker might deal with it before we do. Oi! Shooting at Frost. Shooting at Jamila. Maybe it was always shooting at Jamila, but just doing it really badly. Oh. 
Okay, he's not... Not very damaged, but... Oh, that's worrying. God damn it. Ow. Okay. So, we could do Gunslinger. To, like, blap him in the head or take his pincer off. Frost, you're going to have to get out of here. Come back over here. Uh, do you actually have a make? I should have put a med kit on people. Jeez, did I give no one a med kit? Right. Guess it's my turn. Frost, get yourself back into cover. Smells like trouble. Okay, civilians. You're not actually helping, so just get out. You were supposed to get in the way. Uh, come this way, see if we can grab the other civilian. No, we can't. But we know that there's two there. Can't wait. That, however, feels pretty nice. What's he got on his chest? Pink million torso, okay. So if we get rid of his gun, he's got not much that he can do. I mean, he might run up and, and do something, but it's it's not much. No escaping the phoenix. Or we can just shoot him. That's probably not going to work at that rate. Yeah, that's that's not a thing. All right, let's um. Let's step in. We'll get a decoy out. Ready to roll. We'll do an overwatch at him in case he moves. That moves dies. Uh, that civilian is just waiting. Right, you can go towards the exit. Myrmidon. For the priest, I don't think it's particularly useful for us to actually get him to attack. What we'll do is we'll step in here. Incoming. Get the berserker. We have seen this guy, of course. Berserker can take care of the Myrmidon. With that massive 53 bleed. Start coming across that way. Uh, mind control on the Myrmidon isn't going to help. Plink, plink at this guy would if there wasn't stuff in the way. Okay, we'll do it in parts. That's what we'll do. I'm here. So, Gio. That is a reasonable shot. He's a regen guy. So, go for the aimed burst and really try and pepper him. It's disappointing. It wasn't quite as strong wrong as I would have hoped. You can step in and get a little bit of shotgun action. Oh, we can actually get a shot from there. You know Let's what? Do, this. do it. Come on, Liz. You can hit something. Lining up a shot. That's pretty good. At that range with an iconoclast. He's dead. 
So, Bethany, we're going to pull you across this way instead. And that means we just need to deal with Frost, which is going to be totally fine. Just, you know, not this turn. Uh, we can actually get the med kit here. That's what we'll do. Give us that med kit. You are going to be the medic anyway, so it makes sense to get the practice in early. Jobs are good in. Where are you going, mate? Shooting at the Berserker. Smart. I would have shot at the Berserker as well because he's the one that I'm most scared of. Bethany. Oh, look at that. If we dash. You can give a very, very encouraging wallop. Not bad for a team of newbies. Well, not quite a team of newbies, but most of them were significantly inexperienced. And who like us more? The others like us a little bit less. We should do something for Sinedrian to try and make them like us. Yes, we can research the Berserker class and mutation tech. That's great. Fail to identify the origin of the attack. I come bearing a message from the voiceless Hierophant. Words do not matter. Everything written is ash. Everything spoken is wind. But your actions show promise. Let the rite of hunger commence. Are you ready to make a sacrifice for our faith? Now, the, the rite of hunger. Like, I could understand if we just went without for a couple of days and we took some damage or took some stamina damage and, uh, you know, our food consumption didn't drop. But this isn't the right of hunger. This is the, the right, like, like a harvest festival. They're asking for food. We'll make the sacrifice. The voiceless Hierophant will be pleased and you will gain new insights and come closer to the perfection of the body. May your journey to the blind legate continue. So that was the third initiation. Um, geez, right. We need to rest. There is a medical bay here for healing up. That's great, but there is no living quarters. That's going to take two days to be done. Do we have any base close by that has living quarters? That's a no. That's got living quarters if we activate the base. It seems a bit extreme to just get, like activate it in order for the living quarters, but we do need living quarters over this side. Where would be the next closest here? Yeah, we can we can send people back over over to PHB two. There is no medical facility here, so we're not going to be able to heal up. But that's I'm more concerned about the stamina than anything. So alpha two and. B to one, come across to here. Uh, in terms of research, the Berserker class, this is going top of our list, even more important than blast resistance technology. We'll get mutation tech and the Ami religion as well. Both of those also more important than the blast resistance tech. We'll do them that order. Do we have any level ups for anyone? No, it doesn't doesn't look like it. What I will do though, before I completely forget, is make sure we're giving people extra supplies, you know? Even if, yeah, you definitely need a med kit. I 
think we're probably good now. Peter's on a ship by himself, so he doesn't need one. Liz. There you go. Were you the last person you were? Okay. Sorted. Uh, we need to research PDW technology at some point. Uh, true grit isn't that useful for a sniper. Melee weapon proficiency isn't that useful for a sniper. So, you know, probably probably not not going to be that useful. Extra perception, sniper rifle proficiency, and extra accuracy on an assault. I'm going to bring you in. And I'm going to cross you with a heavy, I think. I mean, if the, it's a shame this isn't heavy weapon proficiency. Because then I would cross you with a sniper and with a hunter plus the accuracy. That would be really amazing. You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave you leave you for now. Right, let's, uh, let's double check who we have where. Everyone's busy doing stuff. Ah, we arrived just in time to get ambushed. All right, um, I reckon we've got time for an ambush as well. So let's hop on in for it. Now, getting ambushed isn't always that bad because, you know, you get extra resources, but obviously you have to deal with the hassle of all the Pandorans. So we've got a... A claw guy. We have a face hugger. We've got a shooty boy. We've got a jumpy boy. We've got another shooty boy. We've got, yeah, we've got a few things around. And, oh god. Ah. This has become more of a problem. It has definitely become more of a problem. So what are we going to do? The shooty boys are the biggest threat. We need to get into cover. More than just getting into cover, we need to... to be at a point where we're going to be able to defend ourselves well. And then get away. Like, it's not, it's not going to be enough to just be able to defend us. Maybe just tucking in here? If we tuck in there, he's going to blast us from across. I might have to make a move after this guy. Running. Get in here. And we're going to... We're gonna overwatch like this. Got you covered. This is not good. So we've got to kill this guy in the face. Got to kill that guy's arm. Kill this guy in the body. Only a few things to do, you know. On it. So first up, yes, we can get an angle on the pincer. You have defended yourself very well there, haven't you? Got it. Oh no! Ow! That return fire was rather painful. Let's go. Let's get behind cover. And try and kill this thing in the bum.
We're not dead yet. This could all change though. Okay, 45 damage is a bit. Kill the torso, it can't attack again. You like that? Okay. We've not got much ammo left. One of his arms is gone, but not the gun arm. So let's overwatch like this. I'll keep my eyes open. One more dealt with. You know, we might survive this. I'm hopeful. We need an exit. We desperately need an exit. Okay. Where is our exit? Over this side. We could make a run for it. We wouldn't get out this turn. Or... Or we try and swing wider. What's his, what's his perception range going to be? 25. It's pretty big. So I'm thinking, like actually getting over, over. I'd like to get there, but I'd like to come at it from this side so we've got the cover for most of the time. Dashing. We spotted another one. Ugh. That doesn't make things better. Push for the cover. Okay. Hopefully... Hopefully we'll be able to run out next turn. Oh no. Stay away. You can all, all bugger off. I'm glad we didn't go after any of the boxes, but we're still in a lot of trouble. He's not going to be able to shoot twice. He might not even be able to shoot once. Okay. Natalie, time to get out. Just wondering whether we should take a shot at anything before we go, but nope. We are just going to get you out. Well done. You have earned yourself a name. We're going to call you the eel. You definitely earned that level up. Holy moly. Right. Our forces have escaped the ambush. After several hours of exploration, nothing was found. Unfortunate. Um, but, you know, what, what are you going to do? We can't actually replace the magazines. Um, and actually, this was... This was Natalie, who is... All the way over here. Not even supposed to be part of the main main team or anything. We're going to have to give you another gun or something. 
let's do that for now. Um, electric reinforcement, yeah, we'll definitely give you that. And I think we'll give you more speed in case you need to run away again. Well done, soldier. Well freaking done. Um, they, we could rest up there. Can't heal up there, but at least we could get your stamina back. Probably not really necessary, though, because you're going to keep getting your... Eh, you're not going to keep getting your stamina back because you don't have a far end module. And next time you drop into combat, we're going to heal you. This is fine. It would be nice to have a place that had a, a med bay and more nearby, but we don't. We don't have that. Come across here and do some exploring. You did very well, but your job is not done. Uh, who else do we have? You guys have just finished up exploring there. Uh, you know what? We'll bring you back to PHB 2 as well. So we've got everyone together and then we can reorganise the teams. It'll give you a chance to rest up as well. Uh, was I going to recruit this priest? I don't think so. No, this was, uh, this was just trading materials for food. And then we can carry on exploring. We need we need a lot more tech. Research complete. There's the Berserker class, right? Pretty big. Uh, let's go into our personnel list. So, of the people who can become berserkers, uh, Laura is going to be one of them. There's the Berserker training. You're going to get Dash. That's pretty huge. Close quarters evade. Given the amount you get shot. Extra speed and damage. And ignore pain. And we can give you a melee weapon. So, seeing as we have a spare. Uh, let's do that. I think... Laura is going to be quite dangerous, all things considered. I think Laura is going to be very, very dangerous, especially with the max speed that we've already got. It's a shame we just don't have the uh, the overpower bash coming through with you as well. Um, who else? Uh, Let's have a look at my list. So, Laura was one of them. Selena's another, but she's too young. Helmy is another, but too young. I think that's that's it, actually. Just check everyone who's a high enough experience level. But yeah, they're all, all cross-classed now. So, all good. You're on your way to trade, you're on your way to explore. Okay, rest up team. You're not going to have much time to rest. Uh, and with with getting everyone exploring and stuff, I think that's probably going to be a good point to finish this episode off. So thank you very much for coming along everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Another four hours and the far end module will be done uh, and we can properly balance the uh, the teams over here. So it's really not going to be much time at all. As always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point, Terror from the Void. See you soon.